First off, I want to talk about what is a DDoS attack, for those who don't know. They're primarily, uh, uh, DDoS attacks are a primary concern in internet security today. Mm -hmm. Explore details about how they function and how they can be stopped. Well, what is it? A distributed denial of service, that's what DDoS uh, stands for, attack is a malicious attempt to disrupt the normal traffic of a targeted server, service, or network by overwhelming the target or its surrounding infrastructure with a flood of internet traffic. DDoS attacks achieve effectiveness by utilizing multiple compromised computer systems as sources of attack traffic. Exploited machines can include computers or other network resources such as IoT devices. From a high level, a DDoS attack is like an unexpected traffic jam clogging up the highway, preventing regular traffic from arriving at its destination. Uh, complete with a, a very nice graph to show that. How does it work? Well, they're carried out with networks of internet connected machines. These network consists of computers and other devices um, which have been infected with malware, allowing them to be controlled remotely by the attacker. These individual devices are referred to as bots or are zombies and a group of bots is called a botnet once a botnet has been established the attacker is able to direct an attack by sending remote instructions to each bot when a victim's server or network is targeted by a botnet each bot sends requests to the target the ip address potentially causing the server or network to become overwhelmed resulting in a ddos attack because each bot is legitimate in a, a legitimate internet device separating the attack traffic from normal traffic can be difficult and then it goes on to identify the attack but this is uh this is happening so we have um you know i would wouldn't say a computer expert but someone who's in the house who's been working on the internet setting up the internet in the house and is able to look and see the logs of when our ip is pinged when it the, when the firewall gets hit with something and it has been consistent um, all day today. So I was researching. Well, I, I I left the house for a while. I was out looking for light bulbs um, for my office light that went out. And when I got back, I started looking for stories as I do normally. I sat down on my computer and started working. And then, boom, all of a sudden, got uh, my, my internet went out. And I'm like, this is weird. We're on the good internet. We got the gigabit internet now. I'm normally a ping of five that's nuts five five ping that's very very low which is good the lower the better all right and i had 900 download 900 megabits per second and 900 up so super fast internet and then all of a sudden it was 200 200 but then the internet wasn't working so there was some sort of flow going but the internet wasn't working so i'm like oh man again what's going on with this so I go over to uh, the internet guy. I don't want to call him, call his name out, but um, he's like, "Let me check the logs." And sure enough, we were getting we were getting hit, and he he can see the IP address of where people are pinging our uh, our IP address, and it's all over the globe. So it is definitely what they said as a botnet. Okay, which is it's funny. I find it interesting because somebody um, was trying to. T say that I had some sort of Chinese botnet that I was involved in. Now, I don't know if you know much of this story, but it was uh, people that used to work for Tim uh, over at Scanner, and they were trying to say that I ran some sort of botnet farm out of Arizona, which is bonkers, um, by the way. I <laughs> I think it's it's ridiculous. I mean, it's like, they, they think that I'm working for China. <laughs> they, they, they think that I'm... <laughs> No, no, they're, they're dead serious. They they were straight up blasting Twitter with all sorts of crazy nonsense. I guess they were on Tim's show trying to trip him up and get him to admit something malicious or something. And Tim's like, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Like, what's the story here? And they didn't have anything because they don't have anything. All they have is a bunch of <whistles> screws loose rumbling around in their head. And they try to say that I was the one who was... Uh, involved in some sort of botnet, which is just ridiculous. No, I don't have time for that kind of stuff. I'm I'm busy researching all day and and trying to write an album and you know come to you guys with the the facts. 
So it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, I see a bunch of people laughing like, yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. But this is, this has happened. It's, someone said it's Skynet. <laughs> it's rogue AI coming after me. Well, I do, I do say a lot of things they don't want me to talk about. In fact, there is, um, I, I, there's something I really, really want to talk about. And it's, it's the vaccine and certain things that I know about it. But I have a feeling that uh, that's a line that I probably can't cross. And I don't want my platform taken from me. But if you follow me on my alternate media sites, you can definitely see the video that I've been, uh, that I watched today. And it's from the frontline uh, American doctors, the people that were totally banned outright from just talking about hydroxychloroquine, which has since been proven to, to work, uh, mind you. Um, but there's some very interesting uh, stuff that they are talking about, about the new vaccine, which is experimental. It's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. But any, again, I can't talk about this stuff because I've seen people just banned outright for doing this stuff. And now our, our internet's getting uh, attacked. It's, it's pretty interesting time right now. So I don't know. It feels a little risky, so I'm not going to do it.